Part of the blizzard of paperwork that taxpayers have to deal with every year is the family of 1099 forms. You know, the 1099 INT reports taxable interest to both you and the IRS. The 1099 DIV reports taxable dividends. The 1099-R reports taxable retirement income from an IRA maybe or a pension plan. The 1099 MISC, freelance and consulting income. But not all dollars reported on all 1099s should show up on your 1040 form as taxable income. Make sure you don't accidentally report more than you have to. Take the 1099 GOV. It's used to report payments from a government, including any state income tax refund you received the previous year. Sure, some taxpayers have to pay tax on what they got back. But in fact, most of us don't. For the 70% or so of taxpayers who claimed the standard deduction last year, the state income tax refund shown on the 1099 is 100% tax-free. And even if you itemized, part of the refund can be tax-free. There's an easy-to-use worksheet in the instruction packet. Take the time to run through it to protect yourself against an expensive mistake. The 1099-Q is another potentially misleading form. It reports distributions from a state college savings plan or a Coverdale education savings account. But again, the odds are very, very good that the payout is completely tax-free. That's the case if the money was used to pay for tuition or other qualifying cost. Taxes due only if you use the money for other purposes. And then taxes due only on the earnings, not on the part that represents a return of your contributions. Read the instructions carefully before you pay tax on any part of a 1099-Q distribution. And then there's the 1099-B that brokers send out. This 1099 might actually open the door to a tax-saving loss. This form reports the proceeds of the sale of stock, mutual fund shares, and other assets. But the full amount is never taxable. You get to subtract your basis. That's generally what you paid for the asset. And if that's more than the proceeds that are reported on the reform, you have a loss that will offset other taxable income and reduce your tax bill. Sometimes a 1099-B form shows the basis in the asset that was sold. Sometimes it doesn't. But in any case, make sure you subtract your basis from the proceeds so you report only the real profit or the real loss on your tax return.